Hello students, hope you all are doing good. Let's have a look at the next question. The next question is a board question from 2023 and it's a case study based question and it goes like this. The ability of a medium to refract light is expressed in terms of its optical density. Optical density has a definite connotation. It is not the same as mass density. On comparing two media, the one with large refractive index is optically denser medium than the other. The other medium with a lower refractive index is optically rarer. Also, the speed of light through a given medium is inversely proportional to its optical density, which means that if the speed of light is more in a particular medium, then its optical density is less and vice versa. Then the question that follows are, determine the speed of light in diamond if the refractive index of diamond with respect to vacuum is 2.42. Speed of light in vacuum is 3 to 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Refractive index of glass, water and carbon disulfide are 1.5, 1.33 and 1.62 respectively. If a ray of light is incident in these media at the same angle say theta, then write the increasing order of the angle of refraction in these media. Next question. The speed of light in glass is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and water is 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Which one of the two is optically denser and why? A ray of light is incident normally in the glass, in the water glass interface. When it enters a thick glass container filled with water, what will happen to the path of the ray after entering the glass? Give reason. And the next question is, the absolute refractive indices of water and glass are 4 by 3 and 3 by 2 respectively. If the speed of light in glass is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second, Find the speed of light in vacuum and in water. So, we have a set of questions. So, let's understand the statement which is given. So, the statement says that optical density is the ability of the medium to refract light. That means, the more a medium with more optical density, whose optical density is more, it means its refractive index will be more and the it will bend the light more or light will bend more when it enters a medium whose optical density is more. So optical density has a definite connotation. It's not the same as mass density. So optical density means it's related to light. That means a medium whose optical density is more, the light will bend more in that medium and it is different from mass density which is mass by volume. Density is mass by volume. So that is different. On comparing two media, the one with the larger refractive index, that means whose refractive index is more, it's optically denser. That means its optical density will be more and it will be optically more denser medium than the other and light will bend more in that particular medium. Then the other medium with lower refractive index is optically rarer. So the optical, if any medium whose optical density is less, its refractive index also will be less, light will bend less in that medium. Also, speed of light through a given medium is inversely proportional to its optical density. It means that a medium whose optical density is more, the speed of light will be less in that medium. Okay? So, if light enters a medium whose optical density is more than the medium in which it was traveling earlier, then the light will slow down in that second medium to which light is entering. The speed of light will be reduced. So, it's inversely proportional. More is the optical density, lesser will be the speed of light. Okay? With that idea, let's start solving the questions. So, the first question is determine the speed of light in diamond if the refractive index of diamond with respect to vacuum is 2.42. Speed of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So, the refractive index of diamond is given as 2.42 and the speed of light in vacuum which we denote it as C is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So, we have to find out the speed of light in diamond that is V D we have to find out. Now we know the refractive index of diamond with respect to air or absolute refractive index of diamond is the speed of light 
in vacuum. by speed of light in diamond. So here we have the equation n is equal to c by v. Now we need to find out v. So v will be c by n. So that is c is 3 into 10 to the power 8 by n is 2.42 which comes to be 300 into 10 to the power 8 by 242, which comes to be 1.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So, the velocity of light in diamond is 1.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. This is the answer to our first bit. Let's take up the next question. So the next question is the refractive indices of glass, water and carbon disulfide are 1.5, 1.33 and 1.62 respectively. If a ray of light is incident in these media at the same angle, say theta, then write the increasing order for the angle of refraction in these media. Okay, so we have to write it in the order of increasing angle of refraction. So let's understand this question first. So here we have three media, one is glass whose refractive index is 1.5. Then we have water whose refractive index is 1.33 and then we have carbon disulfide whose refractive index is 1.62. And we have let this be the normal to the three surfaces at the point of incidence and this is the angle theta theta because the light rays this also theta the light rays is incident at the same angle in each of the three media so now here we have the refractive index of the carbon disulfide is 1.62 it means that the maximum refraction will occur for carbon disulfide that is the light will bend maximum and come closest to the normal. So the angle of refraction for carbon disulfide will be the least. Okay, this was the initial path. Maximum bending will occur because the refractive index is maximum. So since it comes closest to the normal, so the refraction, the angle of refraction, which is this R, this will be the least. Now, for water, the refractive index is 1.33. So, the ray will bend but least. That is, it will be least deviated from its path out of these three. So, it will have least deviation. So, this angle will be maximum for water. So, the refraction, the angle of refraction for water will be the maximum. And the glass will lie in between. So since we are asked about the increasing order of angle of refraction, so we write here the angle of refraction R for carbon disulfide will be the least. Then will be the refraction angle of refraction for glass. Okay. Then we have the angle of refraction for water. Water will be maximum because the greater will be the refractive index, the least will be the angle of refraction and the least will be the refractive index, the greatest will be the angle of refraction. The next question which is given is the speed of light in glass is 2 into 10 to the power 8 and water is 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Which of the two is optically denser and why? Now, if you remember the statement of the question, what was it written? It was written that so the speed of light through a given medium is inversely proportional to its optical density. It means if a medium in which the speed of light is less, that means it is optically denser. So here you see the speed of light in glass 
is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and velocity of light in water is 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Now here the speed of light is less. So velocity of light is less in comparison to the velocity of light in water. Velocity of light in water is more. So we see that this one is optically denser. Optically denser. Because the speed of light is less in this medium. Okay, then uh, ray of light a ray of light is incident normally at the water glass interface when it enters a thick glass container filled with water. What will happen to the path of the ray of light after entering the glass? It will go undeviated. It will go undeviated and no refraction will occur. Okay, so if you remember the law of reflection, it says that a ray of light incident normally will not undergo any any reflection and it will retrace back its original path. Similarly, in case of refraction also, a, of, a ray of light entering a surface normally will undergo no refraction and it will pass away undeviated. Okay, it will go undeviated and no refraction will occur. It, the reason is that a ray of light incident normally goes undeviated without any refraction, without any bending or refraction. So, this is the answer to this question. Let's go over to the next question. So, the next question is the absolute refractive indices of water and glass are 4 by 3 and 3 by 2 respectively. If the speed of light in glass is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second, find the speed of light in vacuum and water. Okay, so here we have the speed of light in glass is given and the refractive index of glass is given. Using that, we'll find out the uh, velocity of light in vacuum okay and then using that we'll find out the velocity of light in water how to find out now we know the refractive index of glass with respect to air is given by c by v glass okay the so refractive index of glass with respect to air is given as 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 is C by velocity of light in glass is given as 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So, 3 into 2 into 10 to the power 8 by 2 will be the speed of light or velocity of light in vacuum. So, it is speed of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So, using this we will find out the velocity of light in water. So, we will have to use the same formula refractive index of water with respect to air or absolute refractive index which you write NW is the velocity of light in vacuum by velocity of light in water. The refractive index of water is given as 4 by 3. The speed of light in vacuum we have just found out as 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. We have to find out the velocity of light in water. So, velocity of light in water is 3 into 10 to the power 8 by 4 by 3 which is 9 by 4 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second which is 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So, we have the velocity of light in water is 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So, this is the solution to this question. I hope you have understood the question and the solutions which we did just now. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video, share it with your friends and until the next question, take care and bye-bye. See you soon.